Hello and welcome to this H11 Apprentice video. As you know, today we will be doing step seven, the body of the tent. So, as you might now see, I've connected it to the locomotive. That little connector piece there. You can use any connector, uh, any uh, way of connecting you want. But I'm using the um, one times four with two holes at the end and two studs in the middle pieces with pin sockets connecting the locomotive together. Now what I've also done is I've packed the locomotive fill with weights because as you might not know the Lego M motor needs a lot of weight on it. So I've done that and I've raised the front bogey a bit higher and now it works. But before we do any of that we must look at our battery box. So the battery box is going in the tender and so we will just start I guess with the battery box so with the battery box actually let's go through the pieces first so we need our 4 times 8 battery box we need 2 1 times 3 smooth pieces we need um, this is only one part we actually need 1, 2, 3, 4 we need 6 1 by 6 for the studs and we need three one by six black uh, one by six uh, thin bricks. Then we need six one by fours with studs on. We need two one by three with studs on. Then we need two one by two angled pieces and one one times one with studs. Now we move on to the actual body. So for this you will need what I like to call sort of chair wall pieces. So you can have what they need to be at least eight long. So you can have two one by fours, you can have a one by four and two one by twos or any other way. Then you will need the 1 by 2 um, slopes with stud on top. You will need 4 of those. You will need... Um, let me try to work this out. You will need... Um, oh, sorry, just dropped. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So you need 10 1 by 4s. Or any. Or you can also use one by twos as well and we've already done the one times sixes as you can see and you will need at least two um, or more one by twos and finally any one by two with smooth so let's start with our battery box we're going to get all our smooth one by fours Sorry. and cover the ed edges around where the studs are so all around we go like this so all of the eight holes are covered so it looks like this Sorry. now we place with four spaces at the end of the tender there is a 4x4 four four square left. And we just place it in like so. Now we go on to the. Um, yeah, you will need sort of, still sort of the base, but we'll move on to our thin pieces here. So I'll bring this down over here. So, sorry, I'm trying to film this. So we start. The one by six, and we get our two angled pieces and put them at either end, like so. So the one by six is underneath, and get our one by two and leave put it in the space left. Then we get two one by sixes and put them underneath the one space we have left on our angled pieces, like so. 
And on top of that, we put more one by sixes. So they are level with the angled pieces. Oops. Now we get a one by four and put it on the bottom half. Do it on both sides. There. Then we get another four on both sides on top. Then we get our last one by fours for the bottom. And we fill in the last spaces with one by threes. There we have it done. So it is two levels. So it's two bricks high. Two bricks thick. Now we're going to get our one by six thick and put that right at the end. Then our last one by six. Put that on top. And our smooth one by threes. Or if you have a smooth six, that will do. So there we have the base of this train done. Of this tender, sorry. <laughs> right. Now we start with our one by six thick and we just put them on either end. So using our bottom half, so a one by four, then a one by six, and then another one by four. We do that for the other side as well. Sorry, one by four, a one by six, a one by four done and we make another level one by four two one by twos one by four one by four and a last one by two we do that for the other side one by four a one by four one by four and lastly a one by two now we get our smooth one by twos and put the, them on the end where we put our last one by twos. So they are at the end, like this. Done. Now, we get our slopes. Put one on. So you put on right next to our one by two smooths. And a one by six. And then another, another slope. And on the other, we did that exactly the same on the other side. Slope, one by six, and another slope. And finally, we put our wall pieces on. So they are facing inwards. One by four, one by two, and a one by two. And exactly on the other side. One by two, one by two, one by four. And now, we just put that on to our base. So, it's supposed to click in by gravity, so it's simple. So, the back end should be hitting the back, and there should be one stud left here. Sorry, as you cannot see, there should be one stud left here. And you have your body of the locomotive done. Now, make sure you have. So what I haven't done correctly. Make sure you have the battery box the right way round. So the wire goes in this way. And just hide it in the box, in the sorry in the oh, tender. And just connect that. And let's give it a test run. Oops, sorry. It never really doesn't like to connect with me. Sorry for this is taking a bit of time. Let me just roll it back. Hmm. Anyway, it does work, but we're experiencing technical difficulties. So hopefully, I think it's yes. In either step nine or ten, we will be showing you. I'll be showing you the locomotive running. So thank you very much for watching. It's been an H11 apprentice video. Our next step will be detail for the tender. Thank you for watching.